Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another video which is today is just a commentary video talking about a little bit of Splatoon 2 and talking about another thing of course but mainly about some Splatoon 2 because you know we have about two days now until the global test fire is arising you know there's gonna be six play sessions and i shall be streaming at least uh, four of those sessions and i may be able to play at least all of them but there's like one day where i'm actually at work and i'm not too sure if i'm on my lunch break for that hour i mean i should i, sh I think i should be uh but you know i should be i might be able to make a little setup in my lunch break if i will be able to play uh, depending if the internet is good on me but yeah that's gonna be a really interesting thing i can't wait for that i also want to mention another thing that uh nintendo released about well, actually no yesterday i think they just released it yesterday uh is that everybody knows that with you you know the unscoped charger well confirmed with the unscoped charger um that you can you know charge up a shot hold it move wherever you want for like a limited space of time and then shoot right after we like we all know about that you know that 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 sick tech but in this video about the weapon showcase for all the four weapons that you can use in the uh, global test fire in two days uh i noticed with the charger is that you can hold the charge and then jump off a ledge and then shoot right after now that's pretty cool like i i that didn't even th that, that didn't even come into my mind so it's literally that you can just kind of jump out the ink i mean anywhere and do like a little type of trick shot i guess or an, an off the ledge trick shot like it's a lot that's that's pretty cool like anybody who uses an unscoped uh, charger or squiffer you're gonna have a lot of fun with that we don't know if it's gonna be a thing for scope charges or if we don't even know if they're gonna be in the game or not it's not even been confirmed but i assume they would be but uh i feel like if they did have scope charges they probably wouldn't have that feature because um, how would how would it work i mean it'll be Honestly, it would be very disorientating, but depends. Who knows? N Nintendo might be able to pull it off, but that's a cool feature. I am going to enjoy that. That makes me want to play the Unscoped Charger just a little bit more. Um, it's probably going to be one of the first weapons that I try out in uh, the Global Test Fire as well. And also, I wanted to mention as well, all the times I shall be streaming are on the screen right now. These are the times I shall be streaming. Um, of course, I'll you know start my stream just a little bit earlier up and coming to the actual you know splatoon 2 demo uh, because of course like if if we're waiting for to play the splatoon 2 demo we gotta we gotta play some splatoon to com to prepare for it so i'll be like i'll be my streams will be ready at least like two hours or three hours before and then um you know we're gonna have a, a lot of fun and you know getting hyped for the splatoon 2 demo and also one thing i should mention in this video as well is that if you guys have known about esl and nintendo's like you know contracts with them doing six months worth of tournaments uh, since september to m march 2017 what do you know we are now in march 2017 well uh <laughs> an interesting thing has come out is that because we had one and monthly finals in the tournament we are now being flown to paris to play in a big grand final lan event hosted by esl now that's amazing mainly because you know we're being sent i mean we don't have to have paid too much i mean like this of course we'll have to pay for our own food and stuff like that but the plane journey and the hotel you know i give you mad props for that esl uh they're only bringing the top four uh teams that were playing which was extermination rising moon team by which is the one i'm in and creme fresh so that's it's gonna be cool i will be vlogging some of the event uh you know my travel there and travel back it's not gonna be like the longest vlogs like in the, you know dark don't park the grass and squid storm mainly because it's like you know it's just a couple days it's not really too much and there's only so many matches that are going to be played but i shall be vlogging around that time you know having some fun uh with uh some eu squids i guess i don't really like using that term of new these this person's an NA squid, or this person's an EU squid, or this guy's a British squid, and stuff like that. You know, I, I, maybe I should just not say it first of all. <laughs> but you know, that's gonna—that's an interesting thing. It's actually the event's gonna be taking place on April first, so I assume there's gonna be a stream of it uh, coming soon uh, to be announced first of all. And I'm telling you now, no, this is not an April Fool's joke. Like I wouldn't do you guys like that. Like I'm not gonna lie on my channel just to just for no reason no it's not an, it's not an april fool's joke it is on the, the event is on april 1st and it's not a joke so 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna conclude the video and also, you know, because we're on the, you know, topic of Splatoon 2, we only know so much about the game so far. I assume there's gonna be some sort of Splatoon 2 Direct, maybe, may hopefully just before? Maybe tomorrow? Or maybe after, you know, this is a harsh prediction, but maybe this should be, because like, we don't, we don't know too much about the game. And um, it would be nice to know when a release date is coming. Like I've, more so I feel like there might be a Splatoon 2 to Direct not too long after the demo, of, after we've all played it and stuff like that, because, you know, it's, I'm speculating, and this, this is what I think, so. You know, if you agree, then, you know, talk about it in the comment section below. Uh, tell me what you guys are interested to use in the Splatoon Dude Don't Know uh, in the comment section below as well. Because, you know, one, for, for me, I am very, very interested in to use the jetpacks. The two times I got to use the jetpacks in the, you know, in January, you know, that was... You know, I, had a, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. So, I can't wait to, you know, try it out a lot more. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. I hope you guys are excited. I am really excited. And it's only two days we have to wait. So, you know, I'm going to conclude the video now. I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you liked this video, uh, or if you enjoyed it, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.